Hi friends, I'm Olga Kirsch and welcome to my studio. Uh, today we're gonna paint beautiful sunshine hibiscus flower and I hope you enjoy the process very much. So let's start. I already made a very quick draft and now what I'm going to do, I will paint petal by petal and I'm watering each area um, no need to be precise because we will paint in very loose and easy technique and I start to uh, apply color from the middle of the flower because the middle would be the darkest part in our case and I distribute the color from the middle of the flower to the edges and I'm not uh, covering all the area, I want to have this fine, delicate touch of hibiscus flowers, so I um, wiggling my brush around, I um, um, make some um, fine moves, I clean my brush, I dry my brush a little bit and remove extra color some, somewhere somewhere I add and I'm taking my thinner brush for the same purpose and I add some details and contrasts and uh, hibiscus flowers uh, petals they overlap one into each other and of course when the petal overlapping other one the shade is much darker so in this case here will be the shade and I emphasize it I add more of color here I again I distribute a little bit all all the color and I move my brush along the vines of the petal and I want to add more contrast to the edges, make them crispy, make them bright. And um, I, you see, I keep the edge of the petal very curvy and uh, very different. And again, I add a little bit more. While my um, paper is still wet, I could add as much of color as I would like to. I uh, keep my uh, color a little bit um, drier, so uh, the color gets more bold, like this. Maybe I. I just, just with dry and clean brush, I go along some parts and drag out the color and distribute the color. I want to keep this area a little um, even white to make it crispy. And this is with one petal. Now, um, I would like to take um, the other petal not the next one just the other one so uh, this one could dry a little bit more i again the same thing i cover uh, the um, area with water and i add just a little bit of yellowish very very diluted yellowish color First of all, it makes uh, for us easier to see the area which we covered with water. And the next thing is uh, add some variety to the, to the petal and it um, adds the feeling of sunshine when sunshine comes through the petals it um, make them gives them that yellowish accent and I it's beautiful to show see I uh, I just allow the water flows and just help a little bit with with the brush uh, to go into the right direction I 
I like my thick brush, I clean my brush, I dry my brush and I, with very gentle moves, I just distribute the color and I create this curvy, uh, curvy edge. Sometimes I just borrow the color from uh, some bright areas no need to go every time to your palette. I am making this and um, I move my brush. I make some vines with the tip of the brush. I, again, I wash my brush. I um, clean my brush, dry it and to make it more handy you could turn your paper whenever you like, what is convenient, handy for you. I want to remove some, some color to add variety to the petals. And I want to add more crispiness to some edges. I uh, Just with the tip of the brush, I tipping on my brush like this you could add different moves to add some texture to add some um, uh, variations to the petal but do it only while the paper is wet you see here it gets dry already i still want to add some folds here to the uh, to the petal and I distribute the color with dry and clean brush to make them a little bit smoother and now it's time to stop and move to the next petal <coughs> sorry um, the next petal will be <laughs> I think this one I will take again very 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 diluted yellow and cover this petal I try not to overlap with um, the one which we already painted Uh, I forgot to tell that uh, I use Windsor Red, Windsor Red color, um, but I think you could choose any hibiscus colors, hibiscus friendly colors. Uh, it could be Queen Acridan Rose, it could be uh, Crop Lock, uh, it could be some purple combinations, uh, whatever you see is a nice um, hibiscus uh, matching color and same thing I go from the middle to the edges I make a very curvy interesting shape of the top flower here is the overlapping between two petals um, I hope you could see I try not to close with my hand um, so I because it's overlapping I want to add more of color here uh, to bring more shade and contrast between these two areas between these two petals and um, here you see it's a little bit monotone it's a little bit same so I clean my brush, I dry my brush, and now I just remove with clean and dry brush, I just remove colors. It's uh, relatively easy, but um, try to do it in one go. Don't do this again and
and now I just distribute Uh, the middle of the flower is uh, the darkest one, and here it's okay when um, all the five petals are overlapping and I close these white areas, uh, but on the other parts I really like when I leave some white space, it makes um, our flower contrasts crispy. a little bit and important to move your brush along the vines uh, along the shape of of the petal just like this and the last one the last one is a bit more complicated because right here we have um, a pestle which I would like actually to make um, brighter. So we have to keep this in mind. We could um, leave this area, not water. And again, it's very helpful to use just a very light hinted um, color, light, light yellow in my case, so you could see better which areas are um, already covered with water and which is not just like this if that's okay with you <laughs> I will turn paper like this and I'm starting from the middle I will start from this spot Now I uh, a little bit more careful because I want to keep the area of pastel as light as possible. So later on we could add more details in here. But here on this side we could be more brave. It uh, has bigger area to cover. Again, I um, wash, clean my brush, I dry it, and I move and distribute the color along the area, uh, along the main vines, along the um, <laughs> along the curves of the flower. Now a little bit more of red here. I hope you you see the logic of why I am doing this. Now I'm making some curves in the petal and I will turn back the flower because it, um, that's, we could estimate better what we have. With clean and dry brush, I I drag out the color. I smooth a little bit all the colors because, for example, here it's the stripes are too bold, too mm, too noticeable, and around pastel. I uh, just go very careful with the tip of the brush. I want to make some nice um, texture around. And I clean my uh, thinner brush, I dry it. And as we did it before, but right now I am removing color for, for the pastel. So I go and maybe I will go once again, uh, even with some pressure on it, to remove as, as much of color as I could, like this, and I will let it dry and add some details a bit later on. Um, 
I see that for example here I could add some crispiness, some curves to the edge. I go over the tip of the brush. Here could be some some corrections. It's um, um, paper is still wet, so you could just add some some touches, some final touches some extra details this is too white i want to drag out a little bit the color to this area just like this <clears throat> and now i see that this petal is a little bit too pale and what i'm doing i again i take my red my Vinci red and i go under this petal, I paint the shade and then I wash my brush, I clean my brush, I dry it with paper towel, but not very much, and just go with half dry brush and distribute and distribute this color. makes this shade not that straight, not that um, geometrical, not that bold. I could add some texture to connect and distribute it a little bit better. So now you see we divided all, all the petals in very nicely way. Now uh, this area is getting dry. I'm looking what um, where I could emphasize a little bit. For example, here in this uh, in this part again, I with a relatively wet color, I go along the area. I paint the shape and with clean and relatively dry brush I go next to this shade and smooth and smooth it a little bit just a little bit because we, we already create very nice texture very nice um, vines I do not want to interfere much in this It is maybe I just remove a little bit and here the same thing. It's the shade of the flower and it's the bottom petal, so it could be much darker actually. But so we will leave it like this. I hope you already see how beautiful is our hibiscus flower. And for the last touches, I'm taking uh, blue green, just the dark green to make um, the uh, to put our flower on the stem. Just with the tip of the brush, I paint uh, the bottom part of the bud, and. And the stem. Try to paint a stem with just one line. I maybe not very comfortable with this, but uh, it will come with practice. I promise. So uh, I want to add darker shades here don't focus too much on the stem it's um, we need it just to connect everything and now we are back it's almost dry here so now we are back and take another big towel <clears throat> now we need our fine brush and I will take yellow, I 
country metal which is actually yellow just yellow no problem <clears throat> and with the tip of the brush I will try to make it close just with the tip of the brush I paint um, the pestle just with dots. I cover it with tiny little dots. I uh, put some dots around and with very gentle move, only on one side, I paint the pestle part. I want to add something darker here in some areas I add it's um, crop lock any darker color is nice just on one side because uh, right now we're painting uh, the shade basically it's the shade and this shade it makes our hibiscus uh, uh, the pestle it makes the pestle more noticeable more visible i do not like this this area is too bright i just um, distribute some color here so it would not be that obvious and be nice and instead of white to add some bright shading here yes yes like this and if we add some shade along the pastel here yes it's just right here we could be very careful probably the only time when we are painting So now we have nice bright pastel and we have nice beautiful shiny hibiscus. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the process. Please leave me some feedback in comments which flower you would like to paint next. What is your favorite color of the flower maybe? Uh, subscribe my channel, follow me on Instagram olga.kölsch and see you next time. Bye bye.